Hi everyone, this is Modern Konakol School Online. Konakol is rhythm speaking language from South India. Today we have Pat on the bass from Georgia. We have Alex on drums from Siberia. And I'm Andy from Moscow playing the guitar. Today we are going to show you how you can slug in, how you can play slug or lay back using Konakol. You can do really good practice. First we should understand that we can divide our beat in two equal parts, right in between. That's very simple. We will use the phrase takka for that reason. You can see how it simple goes. Takka, 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 takka. Every eight notes, every sixteenth notes are here. Very simple. And we can divide our beat in three equal parts in triplets using the phrase takita and we will mark or accent every third beat and it will sound like takita 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 So now you can see that right in between these rhythmic intonations, right in between the straight feel and the shuffle feel, there, there is the specific space actually for slugging. And you can do very good practice if you will uh, explore this, uh, this kind of feel using three rhythmic intonations uh, with conical. I mean five subdivisions per beat, seven subdivisions per beat and nine subdivisions per beat. Don't be afraid. <laughs> That's not so complicated. So the first one will be in fives. So as I said, uh, the first intonation is in five subdivisions per beat. Uh, in Indian style, in Kana call, it's uh, called Kanda Nadai. Kanda means five and Nadai actually means subdivisions. So the phrase for that will be Taka Takita, Taka Takita, Taka Takita, Taka Takita. It sounds like 2 plus 3. Instead of that, we actually should play 3 plus 2 because we will accent every fourth syllable, the key syllable, and it will sound like taka ta kita taka ta kita taka ta kita taka ta kita ta. But you should keep the phrase all the way you are playing. Please don't replace syllables because. Uh, if you do so, you will uh, not understand what syllable is going on right now. You can accent any syllable you want if you are keeping the phrase all the way. Any, any syllable you want, but keep the phrase all the way. So, uh, five subdivisions per beat, slug in five subdivisions, pretty close to shuffle feel, and so we will compare it with shuffle feel. We will play in three subdivisions and then in five. You can listen. If you are playing arpeggiato, it sounds really cool, sounds very, very good. So that was five subdivisions per beat, slug in Kandanadai. So, and the next intonation is in seven subdivisions per beat. In Indian style, it's called Mishra Nadai, Mishra seven and Nadai four subdivisions. The phrase is takita taka dinna, takita taka dinna, takita taka dinna. It sounds like three plus four, and yes, we should play four plus three because we will accent every fifth syllable, the ka syllable, and it will sound actually like takita taka dinna, takita taka dinna, takita taka dinna, ta. But it's very unique 
time feeling because it's right in between five subdivisions and nine subdivisions. It is difficult to compare it with shuffle fill or with straight fill. And actually, it's pretty complicated to think about seven. It uh, freely going, goes if you think about three. So we should join the uh, first six syllables or notes in three syllable. So it will be like shuffle fill plus one sixteenth note. It sounds like ta ki ta da ta ki ta and ta ki ta da ta ki ta and we will accent first of course and the third syllable ta ki ta da 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 ta ki ta one more So that was a uh, slug in seven subdivisions per beat or Mishranadai slug. And the last intonation is in nine subdivisions per beat. Don't be afraid, it's not so complicated. Uh, in Indian style, it's called Sankirnanadai, means nine subdivisions. Uh, Sankirnanadai, the phrase for, for that is Taka dinna taka takita taka dinna taka takita taka dinna taka takita four plus five and we should play five plus four but it's really difficult to think about nine uh, it is uh, better to think about three times three and it will be like shuffle feel actually but in triplets shuffle feel is in triplets but it is triplets in triplets it sounds like Takita 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 And actually we should swing in the third part, like the the shuffle beat, we will swing in it because we will accent every sixth syllable. And it sounds like takita taka da takita takita taka da takita takita taki da takita takita taka da takita. It is very, very close to straight beat, and uh, that's why we should play, uh, we, we'll show you the shuffle feel, then we will switch on to the slug in nine, and then we should play a straight feel. Mm. You will see it is very close. <laughs> One more. So that was slug in nine subdivisions per beat or Sankirnanadai slug. So now you see how you can do really cool practice with Konakol and explore the whole space between the straight feel and shuffle feel using three rhythmic intonation in five subdivisions per beat, in seven and in nine subdivisions per beat. Uh, if you have Pro Metronome app or something like that, you should practice alone with it uh, because you can for example, switch any syllable you want for that, even the slug syllable, and really listen very carefully to, to this kind of space, of time space. But actually, after that, after that you practice uh, these three rhythmic intonations, you should forget any conical, you should forget any numbers and syllables and play only your feel of this space. You can always uh, put it on on some on some feel of five, seven or nine, but actually play your own music in your own way with your own feeling. Uh, for example, in this uh, specific time space between straight feel and shuffle feel. So give us some likes if you like the way we're talking about. Give us some shares and subscribe our channel. 
And see you soon, guys. And thanks for Ivan and Make Some Noise Studio in Moscow. Really, that was cool. One, two...